Hi creators, I'm Anne of Anigan Creates. Today I'm going to be showing you sugar cookies. How to decorate a graduation cap. We're going to keep it pretty simple today. Simple design and then we're also going to just use three colors. I've got my stack of cookies all ready to go. I'm going to start with the blue icing. This blue icing is a flood consistency. It's very loose, ribbons off the spoon quickly, and smooths over fast. I am outlining the graduation cap using that same blue flood consistency icing, and I'm using a Wilton number one tip, a really small, tiny circular hole. Um, I just love being able to use the same icing for both the outlining and the flooding. It's the same icing. I don't have to make two different consistencies. I can even use the same bag and just switch out tips. It's extremely handy. From this low point of view, you can see how I touch and drag the icing. And then on those curves, I keep a little bit closer to the cookie. To flood the cookie, I'm using the same icing bag, but I've switched from a number one tip to a number 47 basket weave tip. You could probably use a 44 also, pretty similar, but without those grooves on one side. But I have a bunch of basket weave tips, so I use those. I like how they're wide and flat. For me, it just makes it easier to flood a large area. And yes, I am flooding over the outline. I wanted to make sure I had the right angle for the cap and I figured outlining the top separately was the easiest way to do that. I like this low point of view, shows how quickly and effortlessly this flood consistency smooths itself over. And hey, if you don't have a scribe tool, not a problem, just grab a toothpick. I used a toothpick for years. I want to show you another way to flood it because I actually prefer picking up the cookie to flood it. I can see better for getting close to the edge and whatever touch up I need to do I can usually just do with the icing tip. No scribe tool and it looks great. The cookies have dried overnight and I am back with a number one tip to outline the top of the cap, still using the flood consistency icing. This yellow icing is more of a medium consistency. It doesn't fall as fast, it doesn't smooth over as quickly. It seems like such a solid color. But you know, I, I did have a problem with the blue bleeding through the yellow, like after hours of drying, and it didn't happen with the white. So if I can make a suggestion, I'd say add a few drops of white just to make your yellow a little more opaque. The white icing is a thick consistency, but be a little careful with white. I find white, in my experience, can act thinner than it looks. In my mind, I thought, hey, if I start with the zero, I'll be able to center the 2020 better on the cap. And it seemed to make so much sense to me at the time, but I think it's just kind of a mental thing. Although it did seem to work all right on this cookie. So here I'm adding some extra icing to the parts of the numbers that I want to thicken up, just to make it a more interesting font. I'm using the scribe tool to gently shape the numbers. And then also the, the light tapping helps to smooth out the icing, any rough icing. Adding simple line details to the tassel and you can add a ball to the top also like this one has. And we're done. Just 79 more to go.